How did China build the world's first submarine high-speed rail? In the past 10 years, China's infrastructure projects have been attracting the world's attention. Their projects have challenged the world's buildings and completed one engineering miracle after another. In China, they have a huge railway network, and their high-speed rail ranks first in the world in terms of total mileage and speed, and no country has surpassed it so far. However, China has not stopped its pace. Now China plans to spend 60 billion US dollars to build the world's first submarine high-speed rail with a speed of 350 kilometers per hour. This will be a gigantic project that will break the limits of human construction. This technology has also shocked the world. If you have been to China 10 years ago, you will know that China's high-speed rail started more than 40 years later than developed countries. But since the completion of the first high-speed rail with a design speed of 350 km per hour in 2008, China's high-speed rail construction has progressed by leaps and bounds. At the earliest, their railway technology falling behind. They learn railway technology from Germany, Britain, Japan and other countries. Later, they began to research and innovate on their own. After 2008, China began to build high-speed railways to all cities in the country. The mileage of high-speed railways has exceeded 40,000 kilometers from more than 9,000 kilometers in 2012, accounting for more than 70% of the world's total. There are still 30,000 kilometers of high-speed rail under construction. The speed has increased from 350 kilometers per hour to 450 kilometers per hour. And now the new high-speed rail developed with maglev technology can reach a speed of 650 kilometers per hour. The speed of China's high-speed rail is comparable to that of an airplane. China's railway network on land has almost been planned. Now, they have decided to build the high-speed railway to the seabed. So, which city in China is this submarine high-speed railway? Shantou is a small city on the coast of China with a resident population of only 5.5 million. But the city's location is too important to China's overall development. The south of the sea area of the city is the South China Sea of China's Hainan province, and the east is facing Taiwan across the sea. Taiwan is China's inherent territory, and Hainan is an important city for China's military, energy, and economy. It is precisely because of this that China has decided to build an undersea high-speed railway in this city across the sea from Taiwan. But submarine engineering is not a simple matter. After all, the submarine environment is much more complicated than on land. This is a great challenge. After all, no one in the world has tried to build a high-speed railway under the sea. This is a huge project that many Western countries can't imagine. Oh build a submarine high-speed railway, we must first build a submarine tunnel. This submarine tunnel is 9,781 meters long. It is a single-hole double-track tunnel. As a submarine high-speed railway tunnel, the design speed reaches 350 kilometers per hour, and the water depth reaches 100 meters. Many complex geological problems need to be solved to carry out construction on the seabed of the complex, coupled with the high pressure of the sea. The sea wind, the waves, the rapid flow, and many other unfavorable construction factors work together. Seawater is very corrosive. How to prevent construction materials from being corroded by seawater is the first problem to be faced by the project. In the planned area, there is a large amount of rock that needs to be cleared in one place, but the rock cannot be removed by explosive blasting like on land. In addition, the seabed is essentially a fractured zone with 17 faults. In addition, the determination of a magnitude 8 seismic zone in the Pacific Rim Volcanic Seismic Zone has brought great challenges to the project. There are two important technologies for the entire subsea project, namely the structural stability of the subsea tunnel and the power supply during the operation of the high-speed rail. In terms of the structure of the submarine tunnel, the construction party has conquered the construction and opening technology of the submarine tunnel and used the shield machine newly developed by China itself, which can complete the tunnel opening and laying requirements on the seabed. The structural part of the submarine tunnel is made of high-pressure resistant materials and structures, which can ensure the stable operation of the high-speed rail within a safe depth and ensure that there are no safety problems in the entire project and subsequent operations.
As for the problem of submarine power, tidal energy is the most abundant resource in the world. But the problem of cost and technology has always been a century-old problem that no country can solve. But now China has broken through this world problem and has used tidal energy to solve the power problem for the construction of this submarine project. China's innovative use of parallel installed tidal power generators to supply power for the submarine high-speed rail not only represents a new level of China's infrastructure level, but also means that in the field of tidal power generators, China has solved technical problems and cost problems. The success of this technology in China has made many countries see hope and are also shocked by it. Today, when fossil energy resources are becoming more and more scarce and new energy technologies are becoming more and more popular, the construction of a submarine high-speed railway in China represents a comprehensive leadership in several fields. At present, the construction of this submarine high-speed railway has started, and it is planned to open to traffic in 2026. At that time, China will become the first country to realize the technology of submarine high-speed railway. China has always been a peaceful and progressive country, implementing the one road, one belt, one road policy. When striving to become a better self, he is also willing to help other countries progress and share his achievements. Therefore, we also believe that this technology of China's submarine high-speed rail will also benefit coastal cities separated by straits, especially Taiwan across the sea. We believe that China will also build a high-speed rail to Taiwan in the future, so that the two regions' residents travel back and forth. You can save more time. It can be said to serve multiple purposes. What do you think about this? If you like my video, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.